happening today. It's going to be a great one to head out to the Indianapolis Art Center. It's the locally made Indies Fall Fest. The 12 acre campus will come alive with art activities, vendors, food, and so much more. And here to get us ready before it opens at noon today is Michelle O'Ha. Oh. Holleran, there we go, almost got t t uh, tongue-tied there, the VP of Education and Innovation at the Indianapolis Arts Center. I'm just excited because I'm actually going this, to this today, so when I saw that you were going to be here, I'm like, oh yeah, get a little preview. Oh, that's great. So thanks for being here. Thank you. Tell us about what people can expect. It's right in the title, locally made. What yeah. can people expect? So today is going to be an, a very exciting day full of... Um, local artists and art making activities. Um, it's a completely free event for families to come. Yes. They can uh, shop from 25 local artists. They can, uh, we will have food trucks there. There'll be um, our, our local coffee shop that's inside yes. the art center will be there. We'll have hot and cold ciders. Wonderful. Um, we'll have local beer and wine. So it'll be a lot of fun. What a perfect day for this, too. We just heard Amber's forecast. It's going to be a beautiful day to go yeah. to the Art Center. Tell us about some of the display that you have here. Sure. Um, these pumpkins are just beautiful. Yes, yes, I love these, too. These are by one of our Art Center staff, Sean Everett. Um, there, he does these glass-blown pumpkins in a variety of colors and sizes. I'll probably pick a few up myself yes, today. Yes, me too. I think so. <laughs> and there's, I mean, this is so cute. And like you mentioned, this is for the entire family. So these little art projects here. Right. So we have art-making activities for children. They can make a pumpkin wand. They can decorate that. Um, we have these Day of the Dead dogs that they can decorate. <laughs> we have a little spider box. They can create a little um, kind of a little oh. house for their decorate a little house for their spider oh. to live in. <laughs> <laughs> there are little wreath activities that the, the, the kids can make. There's also pumpkin painting that will oh. be a lot of fun. So they'll get a real pumpkin and be able to paint that however they'd like. This sounds like the perfect day. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I saw online that costumes are encouraged. They I know are, we are getting yes. close to Halloween. Yeah. What are you looking for? Has this happened? Is this an annual event? Or just it is. Okay. Yes. How many, do you know how long it's been going on? It's been going on for several years. Several yeah. years. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about seeing people coming out and enjoying the Indianapolis Art Center? Well, it's so much fun to bring the community together. Um, at the Art Center, we create community through art. So we love to create opportunities for the people in the area to come out and see our space and yes. see what the Art Center is all about. Uh, we teach classes in a variety of media. So there's so much more that goes on throughout the year for both adults and children at, this, at the Art Center. And people can learn about that too. Wonderful. Before we go <laughs> here, tell us, it's obviously happening today. We've talked about that starting at noon. Where are you located and how long does it go for? Yeah, we are located in Broderpool at 67th and College. Um, it's, it's a beautiful wooded location and it will be there from noon to 5 today. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you out there. All right, I'll look so for you. <laughs> to learn more about Locally Made, the Indie Fall Fest happening later this morning at starting at noon, head on over to our website, fox59.com. Com slash links. All right, starts in just a few hours. So much more ahead. We'll be right back.